red lights on. My red lights on. Dude, we need to fucking swag out our background soon. Uh, I know we could. I want to pull the Sony thing in. Are we? Uh, yeah, we gotta bring that in. Here. Yeah, we gotta bring that in. And then we'll do like a Sony ad read. Yeah, every yeah. week until we trick Sony into thinking they actually. We do use Sony cameras. I mean, these are Sony yeah, cameras. Yeah, we don't get paid to do it. We so don't we get, get paid. Yeah, them, <laughs> paying us and giving us baller, bigger, better cameras equipment. and ring lights, dude. We need yo. We need. Um, I might start doing my makeup on here, mm -hmm. dude. It's crazy that we were just like, yeah, let's just do video. It's dude. Ambitious, ambitious of us. Ambitious of us. That's the way podcasts go, though. We. It's starting a podcast is a weird time too because where no one had anything to do, so they're like, "Yeah, I'll do everything," and then it's just like it's so easy to do. Like, obviously not easy to do well, but mm -hmm. it is really like any fucking schmo can do some form of it. I know they can just you can just read off your phone, you can just record off your phone, and have a podcast that way, which is nuts. That's why I wanted to step it up a bit, you know, and be a top top ten percenter. Top, I think we might be a top five percenter, honestly, because there's so many podcasts out there that probably have like one listen. Like, what was that podcast that Paul showed us that we, we've talked about on here? Uh, the Zoobly yeah, Zoo, yeah, Zoo, Zoo, yeah, Zoo, yeah, we talk about Zoo. that quite a bit, actually. I mean, like that podcast, what five listeners it probably spiked when we talked about it at like seven, dude. It's like two, it's also like <laughs> two 40 year old guys. It's like, oh man, I really respect them for just like. Having a hobby and just being like, oh, yo, we should do a podcast. But it's like, bro. It's going to be us soon enough. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yo, it feels, it really does feel that way. Like when we were recording the episode with John, mm. I was like, dude, we're done for, bro. Yeah. We're cooked. I mean, I'm, I I think we're just cooked in general. But um, once you're cooked, man, you're ready to be eaten. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, the fruit of the labor. This will be better. We'll get back, we'll get back, get back better. I'm, I'm thinking, um, you gotta get an AC unit in that room and just blow it in here. I also have other some fans and stuff to keep it cool because I turned that ceiling fan on and it was actually terrifying. When it was like you got it to turn back on, yeah, it's just that it's that you see that switch over there. Yeah, so it's the left switch. So the funny thing is, I when I came in with John last time, mm -hmm. it was going but like very slow. And I was like, let's pump this sucker up. Gave it a tug. Oh, it was scary. Then it turned off. Then I gave it another tug. Yeah, and the whole thing's like, I have, actually have a video of it. It's like, do, 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 do. and uh, and I was like, all right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit because this is going to, you'll hear that when yeah, we do yeah. the podcast. And then I pulled the thing again and it came to a complete halt. <laughs> and I could not get it to turn back on. Well, it turned back on when I pressed the button. So um, I was also thinking that we had that little blue fan in the practice space just bring that up here for the time being oh yeah even just like shoot it oh, that thing's probably kind of loud it's though. pretty loud but maybe over there with whatever everybody can yeah. ai can dial out the static or <sighs> everyone would enjoy a nice little <sighs> doing yeah. their, if as you're long as you're not listening in your car or on an airplane like <laughs> it just adds to the ambiance of the airplane dude <laughs> there's got to be something to and honestly i'm sure noise cancel mm -hmm. i'm i'm about to invest in noise canceling headphones because i feel like specifically on a plane man that's got to be nice mm -hmm. they freak me out a little bit because i'm like i don't what if somebody sneaks up on me yeah i don't like that <sighs> i don't like to be scared or startled i'm scared every day with those headphones on man i don't i don't i'm i'm a scaredy guy anyway typically and then yeah. i put the headphones in and uh you know how the office now looks out at the the window so i can't see what's coming behind me man you You'll never be scared. know it's gonna come up do you get scared? Do you get scared? Does Joey ever scare you in the house like, accidentally? Not hiding? yes, but I scare her more In because, intentionally, right? Because her hearing has gotten so bad, mm. dude. I'm gonna strangle her. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna play this in the documentary about me killing her because, <laughs> dude, the amount of times I have to repeat myself. This is like such a, like a fucking sitcom married guy thing, yeah. but dude, it's true. Like her, her hearing, her hearing is exceptionally fucked up at this point. <laughs> Hmm. And she won't go to the doctor, which mm -hmm. I'm like is frustrating. But at the same time, like I should go to the doctor and won't for a lot of things. Yeah, so I'm just same. Like, ah, well, I get it. Um, dude, I've convinced myself I have three different kinds of cancer. Oh, I've, nice. I have convinced myself Colon? like colon's one of them. Oh, yeah, for certainly, sure. yeah. absolutely. Uh -huh. Colon, testicle, testicle. Okay, and um, maybe brain, brain cancer. 
All can be beaten. You got this. I mean, also definitely skin if you can count that. But is that <laughs> oh, even a real cancer? You know, no. But it just it evolves into other other cancers I'll type yeah. out there. But like, dude, let's face it. Just seeps into your body. The amount that I smoke, eventually I'm going to be those one of those people that doesn't have any gums and it's just like they're long, <laughs> they're long yellow teeth that you can just like see between all of them <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm gonna have like I'm gonna be like the pictures where like you saw in school where it's like oh this person chewed and had, this guy uh, you know packed a lip yeah. every every all day long for you know 20 years and there's just like holes in parts of their ma- <laughs> their inside of their mouth that's gonna be me bro something to look forward to dude I'm trying to look like um one of the ghouls from Fallout I think they look really cool. Do the ghouls? They're like the Walton G- Goggins, yeah, right? He's, yeah, he's well, he's the ghoul. He's the ghoul. He's the ghoul of the, all ghouls. I came across one. I I think I may have killed one in the bar recently. Dude, I've been playing a f- sorry fuck out of Fallout Four too much. Actually, I was thinking about Fallout. What a great game to come out ten years ago because you don't need a lot of like NPC like players to make the game feel realistic. You know, because it's kind of like a wasteland anyway, so you're kind of only coming up across people every now and then. Yeah, or fucking stupid things pop out of the ground. Dude, the, the, those fucked me up. It took me so long, and every time I've played Skyrim, I've kind of felt this way. Mm-hmm. Too. Like, I re-remember, I forget, because I'm so fucking badass by the time I decide to replay it. Hurrah! Or whatever the shout oh, is. Oh, dude. If only you could shout in fucking Fallout. They tried to bring that for Starfield, but it didn't work. It, it didn't... Dude, with that me. game fucking sucks so bad. <laughs> what a lazy fucking piece of shit game. I hate it, man. Yeah, they didn't they didn't knock it out of the park with that. Like one. I feel like they were like They could have. They could have so easily. I mean It feels like they were like, <sighs> all right, interns. Mm-hmm. We have a position open <laughs> for two jobs. Let's just fucking prick one. Um I was saying two positions open Starfield two positions. Oh, yeah. There's the interns, two. they're like, develop this game with our RD, like, you know, whatever you call it for the game. Mm-hmm. Basically, just throw this template on there and just like write a little game and, you know, like create like it feels like it was literally made. And they were just like, yo, we're just going to make these fucking dummies make a game f- for free. Yeah. yeah, For 10 years. And we'll, we'll kind of cast it as 10 years in the making. They probably fired all of them. Yeah, they don't work there anymore, and they just copied and pasted and sent it over. They just told all of them that the job has been filled, but none of them actually got it. Yeah, but you've been liking Fallout, though. Fallout's been kind of scratching the itch. Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is the best. I am, I know people like Vegas, but I don't know if I can go back and play Vegas because the graphics. I, I think I'd have trouble with the graphics in, in New Vegas. I want to say, is Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas the same thing? I think they're different. So I believe Fallout 3 is the first one I ever tried, and mm-hmm. I was like, this is crap, dude. I hate this. Yeah, that came. Let me, let me, um, let me fact check myself real quick. Because I'm pretty sure Fallout... I've never played Fallout 3, so Fallout 3. There's some Fallout heads. I was, on, I was gaming the other day, and this kid's like, I've, I have s- six days within Fallout 4. And I was like, you play this game for six... How many hours is that? Like over 100 hours? That's insane. Dude, that's I don't I feel like that's nothing. For like how long do you think they've been for like if you did that in like two weeks, that would be pretty fucked up. Yeah. I I have three days in the game and I've been playing the game for ten years. Or I've had the game for ho- however long it's been out. I probably got some some hours into it. But dude, that's the thing. My like little thing and I th- feel like I need to like stop doing this. Mm-hmm. I gotta get like a, a healthy routine because I, I'm I mean healthy in a way that's like not rigidly regimented because I just can't deal with that. Mm-hmm. But, dude, I got to do... So, basically, what my day looks like now on most days is I wake up anywhere from between as early as 7. Okay. That's, that's rare. Or as late as, like, 11. Okay. And I hate that. I hate when I wake up that late. You know... I- to, to to tap off that today is the first day I, I woke up at eleven in a long since I've been a, like in my twenties. It's been a long time. I woke up. I was like, "Whoa, this is crazy." Felt good. I don't want to do it again, but oh, w- once in a in like a few years is kind of fun. But 
regularly is is too much. It's fun to like wake up and be like, damn, I'm pretty comfortable though. Yeah, it was pretty comfortable. And like just be like, fuck it and fall yeah. back asleep. But dude, actually sleeping longer is like I think it's bad for you. I do go to bed late sometimes, mm-hmm. but I've also been going to bed early. Dude, I think the the UK kind of like did, after the UK, did it help you? Uh, yeah, because it kind of so. kicked me back into gear. I was like, poof, poof. I was like, all right, now I'm kind of adjusted. I think so, way. but I still some nights I'm just like, I'm staying up. I'm curious what tonight's gonna be like for me because I wo- I woke up at eleven, but driving over here, I was like, dude, I'm so. I'm sleepy. I'm a, I'm a sleepy guy. I was also painting all day, and I'm like, Oof. still kind of covered in paint. I swore to never paint again. Look at me painting Dude. away. You want a house, away. bro? You'll always paint again. <sighs> yeah, but I don't want to. I want to hire someone to paint. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude, now's the time to just hire people. Dude, I've been hiring people, dude. Dude, I'm gonna hire. I got a lawn service coming. <laughs> oh. I was like, dude, it's not. It's not very expensive, but it's like. Thirty dollars a week, thirty five dollars a week. I was like, dude, I'm not sweating. I'm not going out and sweating if I can pay this homie thirty five dollars to mow my lawn. Dude, that's pretty good because that's, if they mow for the summer, that's like eight times, maybe twelve times. But even just think about how fast they probably do that, Done. and then just just do bang out a bunch of those in a day, every day. It's, it's good for it's good for everyone. It's good for the economy. It's good for me. Dude. It's good for them because I'm sure they're on their lawnmower riding around, and they ride to the next house, probably in the development somewhere else. It's great. So they're coming on Monday. We'll see how it goes. So everybody wants to be a fucking coder, but you yeah. can just fucking have a fun <laughs> ride where you basically ride around in a go kart and work with the funniest little guys ever. And um, we need more plumbers. We need more <laughs> lawnmowers. Dude, but I think we I think we have plenty of those jobs. Like I think inevitably more people will have to get those. Mm-hmm. But then like also more people are gonna have to get everyone talks about how AI is like replacing AI yep. sucks, dude. It sucks. It's not coming anytime soon. Dude, in your lifetime it won't don't worry anyone. So I think it will replace a lot of really stupid jobs, but that kind of stuff has to be like maintained and stuff. Yeah. So then there's new Development jobs that will open up for that. All it's cynical. It's always dude. We're really fucking jumping. Yeah. (laughs) What the fuck was I talking about? About the um. Oh. Oh my 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 daily my daily. Oh right 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 right. So then I wake up and then I immediately take uh, make a coffee. Um. Everybody everybody knows that you gotta. I gotta. But then, what I like to do with my coffee, and I've been doing this for a couple years now. Mm Dude, I just play some video games. Yeah, I know. That's your swag. But, dude, it's bad because sometimes I'll just be like... I can't end the video game once I start. That's why I can't play video games in the morning. Sometimes I can, but sometimes I do get sucked in. And, dude, I'll play it for like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Sometimes. It's, I mean, it's really easy to play a game for two hours. And then I'm like, all right, all right. I got I to gotta do something. Usually that something is like, let me smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Depends what time it is, because I really don't. I it's not often that I will smoke like early in the morning. Yeah. And then I kind of just like fuck around most of the day. And then Joey gets home, and then she get into cooking. Dude, I hate cooking. I, I know, but it's something that kind of you can like prep all day. Like I'm trying like a job to do that's not like a real job. That's a, I need to get into something because like that's a fun hobby. People like woodworking. You're moving into a new crib, right? You got an outdoors, right? Yeah, I could woodwork. I could um, knives do, or something. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be sick if I had my own little uh, like blacksmith. Do you have a basement in this house? Yeah. Dude, do you get like a Lego setup? <sighs> All right. <laughs> Dude. Let's go. Maybe I'll have like model plan. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Dude, I love that guy. Sometimes I just watch that clip over and over. It's like a minute long clip, and the dad just sitting there, just like. Dude, I've only ever seen the the like three second clip. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Do you ever see his dad behind him? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I have. His dad's the best part because it's literally him in thirty years of just like, you got it, son. You got it. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, I I kind of always just thought it was. I didn't know there was more to it. Mm, not much more to it. Just like the the image I have in my head. It, I think it might be like a like a news article or something. Like son and father made a Lego oh, in shit. their basement. He's like, <laughs> okay, let's go. That's so awesome that that's on the news. Yo, they'll kind of put anybody on the news. Yeah, I'm surprised. I want to get on the news, dude. Put the spot on the news. The news is my enemy. I've always hated the news. This mm. isn't like a conspiracy theory. Like the news is, the news is trying news to scare you. Although, although they are. Mm -hmm. um, I just like, dude, the news. Just like the m format of the news makes me feel uncomfortable. And breaking story. It's too, it's too serious. You need funny news. You no, need the man I show like even out. like the yeah. <laughs> I need, like, can you guys splice in some, like, juggies on the trampoline? Like, what ever, is this? Did you ever see this? It's, like, naked news. It was, like, some porn news thing. And the girls would just be, like, taking their sh shirts off. And it, I don't know if they would tell news or not, but it was some paid thing. I didn't pay for it, but I would just see advertisements for it. That's really strange. Naked news. It might have been a Euro thing. Yo, that's, like, um, I don't know. like topless... Uh, Haircut places that guys go. Yeah, I don't like that. It's not sanitary. Dude. I don't want think about the girls with the hairs all over their tits. That would suck. I just am like not Or is it guys? I would just be uncomfortable. <laughs> just like a titty in your face, like I dude, I'm just like, what do you what do you get? Like you're not presumably not fucking these chicks. No. And and those girls feel that like maybe they love it, but do they? I mean, probably not. I'm not going to speak for them, but I'm just saying, I'm asking the question. And I'm uh, assuming here they probably don't love it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> this is all assumption. Uh, I would I it. hope they feel empowered, but... I just, dude, that would just make me feel just like, what is this for? What are, you what are you trying to get a boner while you get a haircut? Like, I don't get it. And You're just trying to get horned up while you get a haircut? I don't... That's the last thing I want. I'm going to get out of there. But I, I mean, as a guy getting your haircut... I like the mystery of the big, when you go to like a hair cutter or something, the girls got their bazongas out, you know, and they put them in your face and there's a little bit of mystery there because they're not. Yeah, they're dude, just, yo, just breasts by themselves. No, thank you. <laughs> like that's, you know, you know. I want to do a bottom, I want to work at a bottomless haircut place. So I'm only assuming females feel the same way. You don't want to cut your tits up. Yeah, like, like why? Is, I, I just like I don't feel the need to add like. Listen, I'm a sexy guy, but I don't. <laughs> I don't feel the need to add an element of sex in every part of my life. No, least of all my haircut, which is the thing that I already really makes me uncomfortable. Mm. You need um. Would you let a robot cut your hair? I would probably see what other haircuts it did first, but yeah. Yeah, like it would say it's a uh, it's foolproof at this point, and it's not poking people, and I. I've seen it online actually. Someone made a haircut, robot haircut. Um, I don't know if I would trust a somebody made. Um, well, it might have been a haircut robot, like a an a MIT student type thing. Um, like if he may have made his haircut. Oh, uh, like a Boston Dynamics. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that shift makes me feel uncomfortable too. Like the little robot dog things that like that kick over and stuff. You ever see those videos? Yeah, I've watched a lot of them because some of them I'm like, is this fake? Dude, I think that's real. I think some of them are real, but then some of the human type ones are a little strange. And they're pointless because Dude, the synths from Fallout. I know. I know. They they kind of do look like them. Wow. Cuz I was I was chilling at my garage in Fallout, of course, and my guy was walking around patrolling. He's patrolling the neighborhood. Making sure no ghouls come and Take down, take me down. I, dude, I don't, I don't know if this is, I can't tell if this will be funny to other people, but <laughs> uh, <coughs> I did mushrooms last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, after a while, I was like, yo, I gotta go, <coughs> I gotta go outside and smoke. Uh -huh. And Joey's like, that's crazy that you're going outside. And I was like, yeah, I definitely am worried that there are certain neighbors that I know will like, be like, most of them will just ignore me. Mm -hmm. But some of them will, will like engage in conversation. And I was like, I don't want to see them. Yeah. And so I was out there and I was just 
far in the corner of the parking lot, mm-hmm. just like chilling on my phone. And I was, <laughs> I was like, dude, it's this is a little much. Like, I think I got to go inside. And then there was like some people going into the building and they had a little child with him and the child was like throwing a tantrum. And Joey was like, because I just said, yo, it's crazy out here. <laughs> and then she was like, do you need to come inside? And I was like, I would, but there's a child throwing a tantrum in the, like just in the entrance. And then I was like, this feels so crazy. And the, the baby was like screaming. And, like, uh, and I was, I couldn't tell why they weren't going like any further into the, like the door was open. Uh-huh. And I was like, what are they doing? And then after a while, Joey's like, is the baby still having a tantrum? And I was like, yes. And she was like, are there like parents with the child? Or I was like, <laughs> just a kid. dude, yeah. a rogue kid. And then I was laughing so hard at the fact that she pictured me just standing on the other side of the parking lot, watching a child all alone, <laughs> like freak out and scream. And I was just watching it, just being like, oh, I can't even get inside. <laughs> It, but I was laughing so hard that I was like visibly cracking up. And I was like, dude, if people are watching me from their window or anything, I have to look crazy. Because <laughs> I was like physically, like visibly laughing very hard. And I was like, I got to ditch this blunt. And I did. And I went inside the- after the child had okay. dispersed. But yo, they were there for like. Probably five minutes, and the kid was just screaming. I was like, I can't tell what's going on over there. The first time I experienced someone on drugs, I was at the Percocet skate park, and dude was on ecstasy, and he was just like, he was just drenched in water, and oh. he kept going around like, dude, I'm so hot, I'm so hot, dude. And I was like, what's happening, dude? Ecstasy seems a little much for me. Yeah, that he was. He was going for it. I hope he's well. I, I someone he, knew him. There. I feel like people on ecstasy are, are always just like really sweating and stuff. Yeah, he was sweaty as fuck, and he was obviously drenched. It's like his clothes and everything. But yeah, that that, that sticks out to me. I don't want that. No, nah, you don't want that. So hopefully that wasn't you in the parking lot. I don't think it was me. Yeah. I've never done ecstasy, so. But True. I do always go to parking lots and pretend like I am and I tell ecstasy. people I've never met before. Like, <laughs> I'm on ecstasy. I'm just so warm. That's why I'm so hot all the time. I'm always on oh, ecstasy. It's like a baseline. Yes. Yes. I get Yo, it. it's fucked up because I smoke a lot of blunts. Mm-hmm. And like, isn't smoking cigarettes supposed to like um uh like slow your blood flow? It's like fucks with your circulation. Oh uh, yeah. And like I feel like you're cold more often. That's what I need, man. Yeah, that would be nice. I, I thought smoking cigs made you skinny and made you cold. Well, I know a lot of fatsos that smoke cigs. Yeah, I so. know. So I'm not, not for me. If only that was true. Yo, honestly, even even Coke doesn't really make you skinny. You know, only, uh, what's the thing that the celebs are taking? Oh, Zempic. Yeah, Zempic. That's what I uh, get Dude. on. But I heard once you take it, you can't stop. I don't know what happens when you stop. Maybe you just get fat, but. I have seen a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of slander against it recently. I have. Sorry for all the diabetics out there. Ooh. I think that's what it's made for, potentially. Um, I'm not sure. My doctor's degree hasn't come in the mail yet, but. Dude, I'm just taking sure. diabetes medicine for to lose weight is really funny. <laughs> but it works, man, dude. They're skinny. This like Kelly Clarkson's hop back on the skinny side. Kelly Clarkson? Yeah, dude. She's like thin. She used to be a little. Uh, She's a plus size girl, you know. Yeah, when I think of Kelly Clarkson, I, I think of a bigger gal. Dude, speaking of, listen, man, I'm not proud to admit this on a podcast <laughs> or anything, but I feel like I got to talk about what's what's, you know, mm-hmm. we're gonna catch everybody up. Yeah, dude, the AI, uh, taco. Oh, dude, Shrek bad picture that Skylar sent me. I was like obsessed with it while we were in the UK. It's so good. I, I think about it. I think about it a few times a day. Dude, I love it. She, I'm obsessed with it. First off, the vibe in the photo is great, by the way. Dude, that's what I'm saying. This is all AI is good for. It's fri- It's like a It's like a Friday or Saturday night 
you know, dinner's there, man. They're about to put on a movie, and it's just her. You, you, so you can kind of be like, maybe I'm the guy that she's sharing the tacos with. Maybe she's not sharing the tacos with anyone. Um, Nah, bro, she's waiting for me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe <laughs> you're in the kitchen, you know, whipping up a nice, uh, get a few Diet Cokes ready for the, the slam, slam the tacos. But yeah, man, she looks good, dude. Uh, dude. Voluptuous. Speak, speaking of looking good, dude, are you are you, uh have you pre ordered the new Tom DeLong guitar? Uh yes, I did. Nice. Which color did you get? Well, I got two of them. Oh fuck. So, <laughs> as a backup. I think I'm gonna have that as my main rig. I'm uh do you I, have any interest in one of those? For free, yes. For free. I'm assuming it's Fender. Yeah. Let me look. I I, I haven't I think looked. So. Yeah. Is is it the one that he's been playing? I think so. Like, um do do I have no? You know what I do have interest in his old guitar. I like that it just had like one pickup and one volume knob. I was like, that's my brain likes that. Dude, Easy. they're probably uh, they might be a little hard to get your hands on at this point. That nah, maybe not. No, I I think um, oh, this is the same way. It only has one a volume. The Starcaster. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I've been trying to get away from Ethel's because it's just. But I, I can't help with my telly. I just like my telly. It's not like a ice or something. Yeah. Um, the Seafone Green. Or Surf Green, rather. Yeah, I'll pick this up. Why not? Why not? That'd be so sick. What do they cost? Like 2000 Uh, 1200 Oh, what's going on? Oh, and, uh, also to catch everyone up, I meant to put this as a screenshot. I forgot to do this in the video. That We never got Mr. Softy. I think it's the bar next door. Oh, is that what it is? It's gotta be. It's gotta be the girls outside the bar wooing. That sounds like woo girls out, out front. All right, we gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, you liked Dune too. I I really liked Dune too. Dude, I hated it. Part Dune. Oh yeah, Dune too. Yeah. Yeah, I hated Part it. Part two. Yeah, I thought it was great. Dude, it just felt like. Nothing happens. I mean, that kind of always is the case with the three-part movie. It doesn't have the ending. I know, but I just like didn't. I just like didn't care about anything that was happening. You're not the only one that heard say that, but I I really liked it. I thought I thought it was better. I mean, I also knew the story going in rather than not knowing what who the players were or like any of the background story. So it was kind of nice to be. Like, oh, this is the bad guys, these are the good guys, these are the guys, other guys in the mix. Yeah, I just... More to, Zendaya. And also, I don't... To be fair, I don't really like that section of the... Like... I like the David Lynch tune. Mm -hmm. Not to be like that guy. I don't. I've um, fall, fallen asleep dude, watching it. So that's the thing. Yeah. The second half of it is stupid as fuck. I hate it. Up until, like, the end. It's, the end's cool, and then, like... It's scary in the kind, It's basically like Twin Peaks. It's like the first half yeah, is, yeah, like, yeah. cool and unique, and then the the up until you, you find out who the killer is, and then the show's fucking actual, actually unwatchable, and then the last episode is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've never... I've not watched Twin Peaks. A little spiteful on it, just for how much people love it, and also I have no interest. Oh, dude, but there is definitely some spite where I'm just like, I don't need... Nah, what's the big sense. what's the big you know it makes sense but it, twin peaks is pretty awesome and yeah, maybe maybe once the hype downs dies down but i feel like i when i, I, I not just so we're clear like Fandom. i don't i don't write like poetry or anything <laughs> like i'm not like that kind of twin peaks guy i just like i've n I've never even been in the waterfall i would love to i'm kind of it's kind of crazy that we haven't been up there I would love to go. We haven't gone up to the pacific uh, we have gone with web wing kind of recently but that was the first time in a long time when we went up there two years ago, Pacific Northwest. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. I like Seattle a lot. I like it up there, dude. I never remember if I like it up there or not because I, like, I I don't think I like driving. I don't like Vancouver from place to place up there. Vancouver can literally fucking which sucks because in the distance it looks gorgeous. You see all the beautiful trees and stuff, and then I'm in the city. I'm like, why am I here? Get me out of here, dude. It really is like. It feels like fallout. Like it feels it like sucks, dude. like the city that's been forgotten. I it, can't believe it's like a functioning city. Yeah, me neither. 
It's crazy. It, I, I really don't like Vancouver, and I want to like Vancouver. That's the funny thing. I'm like, oh. And I tell people that are, I feel like we were just in England, and you talk to, they're like, yeah, it's tougher to move to the, the U.S. This conversation always happens. They're like, but I could move to Canada pretty easily. Yeah. I'm like, oh, where would you want to move? And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, Vancouver would be tight, because that's basic. You're on the West Coast. But I'm like, would you really want to live in, maybe no. there's a good, cool spots there, man. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Sure, it was a good time. If anyone's from Vancouver, um, you got one shot, one more like, shot. Don't get me wrong. Philadelphia is also a, an absolute shithole, but... But there's cool things in Philadelphia. I, I'll even say that about New York. There's cool things in New York. I don't love being in New York, but there's cool things there. But uh, Toronto. There's got to be something cool in Vancouver. Otherwise, why would anybody know it, it exists or go there? That's like the second place you... Mm -hmm. th for me, the second place I think of when I think of Canada. Yeah, Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. Yeah. Nova Scotia. I don't know if they have shows there, but I just want to go there. Just makes me think of like butter. I just picture like Nova Scotia. Butter. Everything's buttery there. I don't know. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. I mean, I'm down. I'm dying to go back to Portland, Maine, just because. Oh, dude, it's so gorgeous up there. I'm just dying to go up there. But that's that's just a personal. Great vibe up there. Get a freaking lobster roll, dude. Just imagine like living a life where you have like that rain, that yellow raincoat, that yellow rain hat on all time. <sighs> dude, I fucking. Hate the rain, bro. I, I do hate the rain, but like call me some... Missy Elliott the way I. <laughs> There's some sort of um, fantasy that I kind of like about, it. like I'm a shipperman. Sh I go out on ships and uh, I port there. Oh, dude, that's definitely how I feel when like uh, I don't want when we were there. Life. But yeah, that's the thing. I just feel like, dude, imagine how cold it gets here. No, it would suck. But like the the idea behind it, the fantasy behind it, I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is, could be kind of a cool life. Yeah, I would buy a house up there for this uh, the the non cold months. That would be cool. Yeah, it'd be great. I oh. can't wait to be rich, man. Any day now. Any day now. Buy beautiful five point three million dollar Cape Cod. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> was it this year or last year? I said I was going to make my first million. It was last year, but it was within with it. We're still within a year. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. By twenty twenty six, I'll have a million dollars. I do. Fuck it, say Bill. Actually, I'll ne I'll say on camera, I'll never have a billion dollars, depending on inflation, of course. But uh, um, no reason for me to have a billion dollars. I might. I'll give it away. I'll start giving it. That's away. the thing. I'll probably do a lot of stuff with it. But I'll, dude. If I if I can make a, that's the thing. I don't think you can make a billion without doing some some weird stuff. Some morally corrupt stuff. But, you know, hey, you know what? Hey, who, am I, who knows? Who am I to say? Who knows, dude? Who freaking knows? But, yeah, uh, whoa, what was that? Yeah. Um, maybe that's my headphones. Um, Your headphones are shivoing out. I know. You remember that? Terry Shivo? Terry Shivo. No, who's that? I want to say in the early 2000s, she was famous oh, was for... <laughs> maybe she wasn't... Maybe this happened in the late 90s. I forget, Terry but yeah. Shivo. Yeah, so she was... Um, she was essentially like a, a vegetable for like... I don't know if that's an uncool thing to say. Yeah, what's the PC term on that? I don't know. I mean, vegetable, vegetable has always felt a little um, a little crass to me. But it like is I'm cruel. just like, But like that's... I literally don't know what else to... In a vegetative state. I that think that's, that but might that's be... basically saying vegetable. That, I think that's like a lesser term, I guess, because it's vegetated and you're like vegetable... For the the small the smooth brains out there, yeah, vegetable. <laughs> she was a vegetable, Terry Shava. So this fucking piece of broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> so she was, um, yeah. I don't want to. I, I my memory is hazy, but I feel like there was a some uh, back and oh, forth about her husband and her, her parents. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yeah, she, it's funny. You bring up one picture of her, my brain's like, oh, that oh yeah. Very, there are very famous pictures of her. Yeah, be, because which is, which is kind of fucked up. Yeah, because they're they're when post. Her accident or whatever she had yeah, going on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's like maybe a documentary or two about her. There has but to be. But that was like a really big thing for a while. Because um, she was kept alive for a while. Yeah. There yeah, was like a, was the there was a legal battle. Mm -hmm. And it was like very publicized. Ooh, legal, hey, legal cases. Which is crazy because that has to happen all the time. Pulling the plug? Yeah, I'm sure there's always disputes between the... Uh, the polar and the non-polar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess the parties don't really matter. I'm sure there's, but I'm sure there's yeah. always somebody in the mix that's like, we can't just kill them. And someone else that's like, 
They're basically dead already. Dude, that's how I feel. Yo, straight up unplug me, bro. If I'm in a vegetated state, I'm not coming back from Dude, it. Dude, I need to make a will. I we I, I do need to make Let a will. Let me ask something. Mm-hmm. If I write down on a piece of paper, it doesn't count? I mean, it counts to some degree, but I think you have to get it kind of like notarized. And then even notarized isn't... You want to go through a lawyer. Yeah, I need to set up a will. Because I don't want the government getting my money. You really set me on that. Because I, 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 at first, I was like, I don't care. But I don't want the fucking government coming in. Dude, anybody That's what you but to, them. I want to buy... I shouldn't say this on camera. I want to buy gold and put it in somewhere. So the government can't tax me. Um, Dude, you're like so close to being like a doomsday prepper. It's coming, dude. If dude, any, 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 yo, any if I, yo, if I had money... You better believe, I don't think it would be like full on, like stocked with like, you know, 30 years of spaghetti or whatever, but I would definitely have like a cool garage yeah. that underneath there was like a pretty solid, like, just like, yo, if you a know, man if cave. A, I mean, that's what the garage will be. Yeah, the garage yeah, yeah. will be set up like even like a, it'll be like a set in like a, in a movie of like a barn where there's like bales of hay. Oh, around, yeah. But there's like the f- dusty floor and it's like, but then you, Bust open. Oh, there'll be like a drum kit in the corner. I'm Iron Manning it. Bunch of amps, dude. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, a couple mini ramps. Well, once we make our first like five mil, I'm I'm in, dude. Dude, it's going to be uh, Bam's Castle or whatever. People are going to be like, yo, that shit is, that's corny. That's Chuck E. Cheese shit. You got to go to Tay's house. That would be honestly, honestly fire. And I, you don't need 30 years of stuff. You could have a party every year and just be like, yeah, I didn't use it this year. Chill in the chill in the cave, dude. That's what I'm saying. Just to have like, even if there's like, I can think of storms throughout my life that I'd think like, man, I bet that would have felt a lot better to be able to just like go in a basement or something and just be like, let's just like chill down here. Maybe like a vault, dude. Uh. But that's what I'm saying. If you even if you had like, it admittedly is pretty paranoid yeah. to have like an underground bunker right in your backyard to be like, hey man. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. That's definitely not a healthy way to think about it. But, dude, just to, like, pimp it out and just be like, oh, yeah, I just go down there and, like, play video games and fucking jerk off and shit. <laughs> It'd be sick. It'd be awesome, man. Just, like, ventilated. Like, yo, I just smoke down there. Like, it's not like it's going to be, like... Podcast down a, there. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. It'll have, like, That's a cool next... entrance and stuff. The... Oh, you know what? All right. We need a podcast studio in the corner. Ch- check it out, dude. How annoying would that be if you were like locked in a bunker and you're just like, yo, we're gonna podcast over there <laughs> <laughs> and broadcast it over the radio, just like Fallout, man. Oh, dude, dude. hopefully like someone picks up the signal. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I think if if we had a podcast that was like crazy successful like that, where you had too much money coming in, and there's some out there. Why not just buy a place and make it a doomsday bunker and just that's have gonna, a, that's be a pod just like. Yo, I just think about, dude, if you have a lot of money, I'm not going to like, it's, I'm not going to just like be like, all right, you know, let me buy an apartment complex and like, um, you know, they have like equity in this yeah, and this. Yeah, like, that E word. I'm not, I'm not no. really, that's not my vibe. But you buy a house for a podcast and you get your own equity, but you don't even have to like, dude, that's what I'm saying. I just have a ton. I just, I want to have a ton of money chilling. Mm. And then I know this is like, there's people that are probably like finance guys. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, right. Dude, you know what? I don't even know if I'll ever buy a house. Some people rent. I might be a renter. It's easier. Dude, it's that's time a, to buy a car though. It is. I, I actually, I should buy it. Probably buy a car this year too. When we get back from Texas, dude, I'm fucking. Yeah. I think I might buy one in the fall. What are you gonna buy? Uh, something with four doors. I don't know. I was looking. There's some sort of Chevy car. I just want something I can throw stuff in the back. Yeah, I, I, I got to get out of the sedan game. But Dude. yeah, my car showing its age. I would like to get something more hatched than a sedan. Yeah, but dude. I was looking at a couple Lincolns. <laughs> Lincoln Town Car. Dude, I... <laughs> dude, Link, a couple Limp, Lincoln MKZs. Yeah. Dude, I was just like, you know what? This might be my swag. Could work. Could They're be cool. so big. Yeah, I don't Having know. Having one in the city would be so annoying. Honestly, I th- I was ta- I was talking to Laurie. I was like, if we still lived in the, sh- the shitty, the city, I would get a 
I would get a pretty small car, like a Ford Focus or something, where I could just whip it in any spot. So you're saying I should get a Ford Focus? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that's Yo, what I would get. Just because I would just... I Honda just Fits whip. are pretty small. Yeah, I would get a Honda Fit. Those are similar size. Just so I could just... Let me see what whip. a Honda Fit's running you. Honda Fit. In this economy? In Biden's economy? Dude, $50,000. Dude, straight up, I'm tr- <laughs> Honda Fit price. <laughs> Honda Fit 2024... Dude, do they make them anymore? One million dollars. I don't know if they do. They probably make something like it. But I mean, I would ideally love a car that drove itself, but I don't want to be that guy. Honda Fits are um, <laughs> USA. Honda Fits <laughs> are hybrids. Are they really? Dude, have you seen a hum? The new Hummer, the electric Hummer. <laughs> no, is it cool? <laughs> no, they're not cool. I honestly, I want a Bronco. If, if I could, I think a Bronco would be fine. I've looked at a couple Broncos, Honda Fit, Sport. If my dream car, though, like an oh, '80s dude. or '70s Bronco, like an old Bronco with a cool ass color to it. Dude, Honda Fit's got a pretty good rating. I think I think that could be your car, dude. I don't know if that's your swag, but I would I would definitely rock that just because I could fuck with it. It's small enough. You can kind of, dude. I don't really care too much about. What car I drive? Yeah, I don't see myself in my car. Where some people are, are like, "Well, this car like reflects me." That's why I have a Jeep. I'm like, I, I mean, I don't give a fuck. If I had money to buy like a car that was like my ideal car, I might do it. But I'm yeah. just like, yo, I don't got money like that, so I just got to buy something that's sturdy. I like sturdy. That's a nice sturdy car. Yeah, Dude, something I, reliable. That's why I don't get rid of my car now because it does work, but it's just. It's fifteen. It's almost fifteen years old. It's getting old, man. It's gonna be Nina's first car. That's what I'm saying. Pass it on. Pass it along, dude. But I think I could sell it probably for more than I could before. Like a, before I could like a few years ago, I couldn't sell for as much as I'm selling it for now. Dude, I'm seeing some Honda Fits that are um, with not terribly high mileage that are sub 20, 20 racks. Not bad. That's a good. I can live with price that. Range. We should just ask everyone listening, can you just donate your nice car to the podcast? Oh, dude, I'd really appreciate it if everybody could just... We'll we'll bring you... Ship in and buy me a new car. You can come on the podcast then. We can either FaceTime you or you can come... Oh, dude. We'll give you the full experience. If you buy me a new car and Jake a new car... um, Or no, you give us your your new car too. Just give it to me, you know? You don't have to even buy me one. Yeah, we really just need the pink slip. Buy Tay one. I'll take the pink slip. Or if you have two cars, get two new ones and give we us your sh- old one. I guess we can share one for the pod. Yeah. <laughs> Write it off. We, you can be a make a wish kid and you have your perfect day. Dude, I've been rewatching um, The Boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to catch up. Dude, the first season is so awesome. It's I feel so like it kind of falls off. No spoilers alert, but. A new season is coming out. I know that. Yeah, I know that. I, yeah, I'm excited for it. This month. I. When he, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but he had to have seen. So if you haven't seen it, like, skip ahead. When he uh, is in the cage and the dude blows up, like the last episode of the, towards the end of the first season. That, oh yeah, when uh, so the water guy. The water guy is doesn't he like be, is like liquid or something? Um. Or he's invisible. That's what oh, he is. Yeah, he's invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was shocking. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Um, dude, that actually happens in like the second or third episode. Does it really? Wow, yeah, it happens kind of early. Wow, now. it's been a while since I've seen it. But dude, it's that first season's awesome. I don't really remember much about. I remember a little about season two, not much of season three. He gets canceled. The one guy gets canceled, right? The Aqua dude. Oh, in season one, he does. Just, damn, everything happens in season That's one. That's the thing, dude. Starlight gets canceled again. He might get canceled again. But dude, yeah, a lot happens, and I was just like, I got nothing to watch. I'm rewatching this. Dude, I gotta see Furiosa though. It's not doing well in the theaters. Yeah, but that's surprising. (sighs) Anya Taylor Joy, Chris Hemsworth. Dude, I don't know if it's that surprising though. I think people just going to the theaters is just kind of falling off. It's a bummer. I liked Mad Max with Tom Hardy. Dude, it's. Maybe the best Mad Max movie. I agree. I really, I thought it was awesome. Um, 
I it's a perfect movie. I haven't heard anyone talk about Furiosha. Furiosha. I've I have heard people say both things, but based off of what I've seen, I will likely enjoy it. That's what that's that's. I'm what, gonna watch it. Oh, dude, I'm trying to take my dad to see it. My dad's Ooh, a Mad Max. My dad would like. Although it. he didn't. When I was younger, we mm-hmm. would like both watch Mad Max movies, and I was talking to them about this. Might be related to head injuries. <laughs> um. I was talking about them recently with him, mm-hmm. and he like was like, "Oh, there's more than one," and I'm like, yep. "Mad Max." Yeah, I was like, "Yep." He thought like, there was only one with uh, Mel Gibson. I think he just thought there was one Mad Max, and I was That's like, "Bro, crazy. you and I have watched all three of the first <laughs> ones together." And I was like, "And then there was another one that came out in like 2016 or 2015." Dude, it's crazy they came out that long ago. Yeah, uh, I would get that wrong in trivia. And he was like, oh, the one with the, what's his name? I was like, Tom Hardy. And he was like, yeah, that one's no good. I was like, dad, Dude. you're you're misremembering or you've actually never seen it. This, And I'm not joking when I say this might be head injury related because he's got he's had some dings for sure. <laughs> but I was like, no, 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 dude. You got to rewatch. You got to rewatch that. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's I I re I have the new one it. looks cool. I think it looks cool. I like that it's in the same, roughly same time frame. Obviously, I know it's a prequel, but yeah, it's, it's still, not like because like dude, when you watch the early like the first one, it's like what the hell is this? Dude, like, it's on a road like like a highway. Like I feel like they're in like Texas or something. The first two, like I thought the second one to my memory was my favorite one. Hmm. The third one is actually my favorite one. Third one with Mel Gibson? Yeah. Because then it starts getting a little, like, uh, post... Is it apocalyptic? Yeah, so that's the thing. The first two are kind of post-apocalyptic, but the world isn't, like... It's not, like, crazy. Yeah, yeah. But then that that's the first one where it's, like, you know, everything's a desert, and there's, like, no gas. And no I like that fucking, shit. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's when it kind of turns into, like... The fight over the dude, water. Even the second one is a good movie. Don't get me wrong, but mm-hmm. dude, it is really like wow. This is so of the time because if you try to put a movie out like this today, people would be like, "This is the worst movie <laughs> I've ever seen." Straight up, it's like so slow, and there are really cool like action violence parts, mm-hmm. but it's just it's also really over the top. Where it's like, damn, some of these motherfuckers are so bad at acting. Dude, I've been so. Long. I've only think I've seen one of the ones with Mel Gibson, so it's been a long time. Dude, the third one's the coolest one because that one's like a cartoon almost. I may have watched that one, but yeah, I've never watched all three of them. Maybe I should. I'm, I'm, I need to. Now that things are starting to settle down, I'm like all right, now I can like watch more TV. So I got, I got to cue some stuff up. Oh, dude, there's nothing good. Once I'm done, once I'm done painting this room, man, I'm, I'm going back to fucking TV, dude. There's nothing good. There's straight up nothing good anymore. <sighs> well, I get. I still have to watch the the Jinx too. Jinx. Oh, dude, that was still that watch was, that. That was good. I got some queued up, man. I, I'm I'm not saying there's new stuff coming out that's great, but I have some some stuff queued up that I should should hit. Can you think of what they are? Well, I got finished watch re watching Love. Oh, dude, I was watching a couple episodes yesterday. Great. I'm almost at the end. I'm almost there. They're at Gus's parents' house. No. Oh, dude, meet the Crookshanks. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> His parents suck so bad. I hate them. <laughs> if that guy was my dad, I would beat the fuck out of him straight up. Uh, yeah, I forgot how like annoying he is, or just he's like, just like a dickhead. Yeah, but dude. <laughs> also, like his his older brother, that actor. What else is he? he's in? A, he he reminds me of Mickey's boyfriend in that show they have the same kind of like square face or her ex-boyfriend the guy in like the first episode yeah that was in, uh no 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 not him. Oh, the second boyfriend. The that was in, guy, in mad the, man man I, but I, I i that that actor though that is his brother pops up in so much shit but I'll, I'll, I'll never remember his name they're brothers no no no, no they're not brothers oh. but i'm saying the who plays um um mickey and What's his name? Crud? Yeah, Mickey and Crud. What's his name? Oh, um, Gus. Gus. Yeah, plays Gus's brother. Like, I feel like I see that guy pop up a lot. 
Um, dude, this is a better episode than our last one. I'll I'll say that <laughs> to no fault of John's. I don't. No. Wanna, I feel I feel bad for John, there, dude. It was just hot, and I was just like, my brain doesn't work. I'm not like, I can't even think about anything, <laughs> let alone anything that's funny or interesting. And poor John, just we asked him last minute, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm down." I feel like the last time was last minute too. He's the goat, dude. That's what that's what happens when you're the goat. Yeah, he might be a fucking bum, dude. He just chills. Ah. He's got nothing going on. He just moves. He did. He did. Nice just place. Moved. Yeah, the nice. place is really nice. Very yeah, I mean, he tricky. lives so close that like. Yeah, so why not? Oh. That's my new thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, ba- new balance record. New balance <sighs> record's coming out, everyone. New song, two new songs. I'm they- gonna leak it. Oh yeah, let's leak it oh, to our patrons. So patreoncom slash quit your band yep. while you still can, especially if you want to see that other episode with John. We got video and audio over there too. Do you think we got any um, any Patreon subscribers just so people? So people could hear the naughty thing that I said on the episode. You know, maybe because <laughs> and we keep getting emails like new new Patreon subscriber. I'm like, oh, nice. You see, our phone number expired again. It always does if you don't use it. So we never got to those, um, but it wasn't our fault. It just uh, spring got real busy, man. Um, and I hate blame. I hate using that word because it feels like a buzzword to say. Oh, I'm so busy, but truly, mentally. Like, Dude, that's was that my is. capacity? Like, Not physically, but like mentally, my capacity was just at a hundred percent. That's totally what it is. I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'm playing Fallout. Yeah, but my brain is fucking like is fried. <laughs> Dude, bush. I mean, my brain's not working still at a hundred percent right now. It's, the gears are still grinding. But as we start kind of summer vacation time, dude. Be back, baby. Now I'm just kind of I'm starting to become like uh, I never thought I would feel this way, but I'm starting to look at like stuff that we have going on this summer. Yeah, and dude, it's not much, and I'm like, I feel like I got to do something. Pack it in more. Yeah, I feel like we got nothing going on. Take the summer off, dude. I can't. You gotta take this. You gotta take. You gotta take time off. That's a, you should go on a vacation. Plan a vacation. I am moving, so maybe. Dude, hit up Joshua Tree. Have a nice vacation. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's the thing. I don't know if I'm like, I love a vacation. Uh, yeah. What's your what's your ideal vacation? Just chilling at a, a cool location. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't even know what a cool location is. Obviously, I do like spending time in the desert. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. I mean, honestly, I could do that. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'll do that. just relax the old brain. Maybe I'll do that. See but a different then I'm scenery. just like, ah, oh, dude, what am I gonna like? <laughs> You're so tortured, dude. <laughs> I really am. Like, I, most of the time, I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm just like, ah, I don't really want to. Like, yo, I had the fucking quad cortex set up earlier. <laughs> just sitting there. And I was like, I'm gonna fire this up. Mm-hmm. I'm just like watch a couple videos, dude. I can't get myself to sit down and watch videos and like have it in front of me and yeah. have the headphones plugged in and just like fuck with it. Dude, I, for some reason, I'm just like, oh, that feels like homework. I hate homework. Like, dude. Homework sucks. I didn't do any homework in school. For a reason, because I didn't like it. That, dude, <laughs> I, I, like I like it. literally can't can't do it. I can't explain it. Like, dude, every day, the, I'm just like, yo, I think I'm like s- truly special needs. Uh, like I used to think like oh I was on the cl- I was in the class with like the retards because like because <laughs> I didn't because I didn't want to do anything in school and now I'm yeah. kind of like fuck dude like that's my my uh, my uh, what my uh, that's my retardation. <laughs> you can't take can't that away of, from someone. I can't think of the word. Mental hand no. Yeah, that's my it's handicap. A, yeah, it's your handicap. Yeah, you're yeah. handicapped. Yeah, I just can't can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of can't do anything. I'm kind of fucked. It, it, I can do a lot of stuff, but some some shit like that where you have to uh, focus your attention, it's just tough, man. Dude, it's that's tough. why I play, I've play. i been playing video games so much. I feel like after we play shows and stuff, especially because I just did a whole tour and then played a bunch of other shows, Yeah, I think I have just felt like I can't, do I I that's when it's worst. And then I feel like that's when I play video games more because when I'm playing video games, I can kind of just like 
Yeah, zone out. Especially because I'm high as fuck, and yeah. I'm just like, this is great. Damn, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm literally the guy in the game. Yo, what's your character's name? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't remember what his name is actually. It might be Jake, but I might have come up with an interesting. I I, I don't remember. I, don't I really want to change my guy. I, I wish I could make him look crazy. Yeah, my guy's just hot. My guy just looks like um somebody that we know, Evan Zook. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> we saw him out front. Last oh yeah, that was I, was so just, cool. I see him all the time. I yeah. live really close to him. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I want him to look more fucked up. Sometimes I have trouble making my guy look so fucked up, dude. I that's the thing. These games, it's like let me make him interesting to look at. I'd love a bug eyed like crazy thing. This looking the other way. Yeah, not that Evans look if he's a no. watcher. Not that he's not <laughs> interesting to look at, but he's. I don't want my guy to be handsome. I want him to look fucked up. <laughs> I want to look like he lives in a wasteland. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like my guy has like a scar on his face, but I want him to have. Like I want him to look like Freddy Krueger. Dude, you know what I got into this week? There's like a whole YouTube of someone going around Skyrim and seeing the job employment of the towns. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a half hour long video, and he goes around to everyone and he just finds out if they have a job or not. He's like, oh, they're employed. All right. <laughs> Up unemployed. 7% unemployment rate That's in Rifton. <laughs> I don't know, but it was honestly. What is he going to like the library and looking up these things? Dude, he was like going into all the houses in Skyrim in, in Rifton and just being like finding everyone and seeing if they're employed. I was like, wow, this is crazy. This, this dude had a lot of followers and. Maybe like millions of views on these <sighs> these these uh these videos. I'm we like, should be streamers. Uh, move on over to streaming, dude. What a what a fucking weird thing, man. It, I mean, it it kind of ruined the youth because they like streamers and they're like, oh, I could just be this. And then, dude, that's how they consume media. They're just it's like nuts. Oh, let me, and they just like watch them all the time. <sighs> it's, I mean, they well, are what entertaining. Kind of psycho, fucking, just like gives them <laughs> stuff. That's the thing. These motherfuckers just oh, like, and it's like, like bloop, oh, thanks for the hundred dollars. Yeah, bloop, bloop, ten bucks. Bloop. Who's doing this? It has to be only perverts, no matter the context. But I'm cool with that, dude. If, imagine you do a stream and you made like a couple thousand dollars one, and you just played video games for the night. You're like, wow, I made three grand. I feel like people would just like be like, yo, you suck so bad at video games. Oh yeah, but maybe that's the charm. You I have, have to, to be- play Fallout on easy, straight up. It's too hard. Yeah, you need, it's it's tough, man. It's more it's tougher than. Skyrim, for dude. If I don't play it on easy, am, and and my guys like, kind of like ranked up a little now. Although, dude, are you I playing in the suit? Dude, I don't really like the suits. Are a little I clunky. For I me. don't like the suits either. I don't know who plays in the suits, but I just got. I have two suits now, and one other just like skin chilling there. Yeah, there's the suits are a little like unless you're in like a high radiation zone. This is so anti pussy. <laughs> Unless you're in a high radiation zone, they're kind of just like annoying. I yeah, I don't I, I don't really get the appeal to it. I guess there's more armor, but I just walk around with my shotgun and just walk up to people, bang bang, bang bang, reload. Dude, just, that's what I'm saying. It's it's, it's fun. Dude. I'm really into suppressed weapons, so I can just like Ooh, I'm this, really into sniping. Dude, sniping's so fun, dude. Dude, especially I can get on another roof and like I'm going to another location. And I could see the raiders up there and just bang, dude, just like t- headshot. Perfect headshot Boom. in Fallout is like, that's literally feels like you're getting jerked off. <laughs> it feels so good. I love that. If anyone's here from the Justice episode that hopped in because we were talking about um, Dude, video games, uh, people, Fortnite, people maybe they love hate this. my ass in that episode. <laughs> I don't remember being so obnoxious and I haven't rewatched really it, but. Dude, the comments are like, people hate... Everyone's like, the guy in your green jacket should die. <laughs> and it, like, I needed to just stop checking our email because yeah, the I comments go to our email. And then and then I just like see them and I'm just like, dude, what did I say in that episode? Dude, I, don't, I don't remember half the things I say. I don't remember most of the things I say. I, oh, me neither. But I'm just like, dude, like... I don't really remember saying anything crazy in that episode. So I'm just like, I don't think you did. What did I do for it? It's uh, it's seemingly mostly, if not all women. So that might be. Hmm. 
this this is a guy for the pods. What can we say, dude? What I can mean, we say? We don't. We attract the the male the male presence, dude. There's there are. Listen, this sounds like um, <laughs> like being like oh like no, I have black friends. Mm-hmm. The amount of this also sounds like I'm like a pimp. I don't mean it in this way, but I just mean the amount of women mm-hmm. or non men mm-hmm. that come up to merch at web wing shows and say that they are listeners of the pod is way more than one would think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's not like I'm banging these chicks. I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like I'm like, you know. <laughs> hey, baby, why don't you come behind the But I just table? mean like there's a lot of people that express like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I listen to the pod. And I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. God bless you because otherwise it's just. Just two guys, two guys approaching. Two guys and they're a little, they're a little, uh, they're a little militia of fucking weirdos. <laughs> um, nah, I love, I like the guys that listen. Dude. No, I'm not even gonna bring it up. I don't mm. want. I don't want to call attention mm. to it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you off pod. Off pod. It's not even like a big thing. I just don't want to like. It's a weird thing that somebody's been doing that mm. I don't want to like. Give them any, any. Uh, yeah. Any shine. Yeah, 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 I get it. Um, damn, we're already at an hour. This is a good. This is a good pod. It felt good to get back in the swing of things. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I'm. I want to call it here for today. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty. And I'm hot. Fucking, I'm gonna. It's. Way less hot in here than it was last time, but mm-hmm. it's still warm. It is definitely it's still warm. Well, thanks everyone for listening. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be back on the feed before you know it. Mm-hmm. Later. Uh-huh.